All right, this example is going to tie everything together. There's going to be a lot of moving parts. Let's do it. So I want to find the pH and percent ionization of this solution, uh, hydrogen carbonate, if the quadratic isn't needed. Okay, so we actually just finished discussing this entity. It's amphiprotic. It can be acidic or basic. Uh, whichever one has the higher K value determines which ionization dominates. So if KB is greater than KA, solution will be basic. If Ka is greater than Kb, the solution will be acidic. So let's first determine whether or not this will be acidic or basic. All right. So to find Ka of HCO3, we just read it right off the booklet here. Let me find it. Okay, near the bottom, HCO3, there's Ka, 4.7 times 10 to the negative 11. Okay, we actually just calculated KB for this, but I'll do it again. So a reminder, use HCO3 uh, on the base side. It's KW divided by that. All right, do not divide by this. Divide by this. So. Okay, and that's still 2.22 times 10 to the negative 8. So you compare these two. Which one's bigger? KB is much bigger. So the solution will be basic. And we're going to deal or approach this question with KB and a base ionization. Okay? Uh, just like for acids, if the base concentration divided by the K value is greater than a thousand, the quadratic is not needed. So let's do that. The weak base concentration up there is 0 0.75 divide by KB. I get Huge number here, way, way bigger than a thousand. So the quadratic is not needed, and we're going to have to go through with this question. All right, which is good. So let's write it out HCO3, ionizing water. Remember, since KB was bigger than KA, we'll write the uh, basic ionization. All right, so water is donating a proton to HCO3. And this is its conjugate acid, All right? Ice table, don't care about water. Okay, my initial concentration was 0 0.75. And we learned that we can keep it at that, okay? Since the concentration divided by KB was greater than 1,000. These guys started at zero, and we're going to call them X. All right, KB, so these two guys divided by the weak base. All right, which is going to be X squared over 0 0.75. And we have KB, it was 2.22 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay, so finishing up here, I get 1.29 times 10 to the negative 4. All right, X is the hydroxide concentration. Okay. I want to remind us what we actually have to find here. We're finding pH and percent ionization. So maybe I'll find the pOH really quickly. Okay, I get 3.89. See a pH, just subtract that from 14. Cool. Great. 
Uh, what's left? Percent ionization. That hasn't changed. So that's going to be the hydroxide concentration divided by the weak base concentration, okay, which would be HCO3. Um, so what did we get? 1.29 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 0 0.75. And then maybe you want to multiply by 100 to put it in a percentage, of course. Okay, when I do this, I get 0.017%. Wow, what a journey, okay? Um, we really encapsulated everything from the past couple of days. So, reminder, when I see the biggest uh, mistake or the most common mistake is using the wrong KB when you're dealing with something amph amphiprotic. Just remember to always find the base in the base column of your data table. And that should be pretty easy to remember. Everything else follows this stuff that we've already done.